through. Uganda's economy has undergone significant transformation. The gross domestic product has grown at over 7% annually, while the incident of poverty has more than halved in the last uh, two decades. The growing risk and vulnerability is unprecedented, mostly affecting the well-being of senior citizens. Such is the scenario that arises with a recent government pronouncement of a policy shift to regulate school fees. These policies can only be remedied by social protection systems to cater for the growing gaps. Despite a commendable progress in social protection systems, a delicate focus in financing the pillars of social protection is required. The theme is leaving no one behind. But leaving no one behind will require a deliberate focus on increasing investment for social protection. We talked of the pillars and broke them by intervention. One thing we want to trust to you as members of the media is to see what is the financing towards each of the pillars that have been highlighted. He called for sufficient political support and commitment for expanded and sustained uh, financing for social protection. The poor guy only has one need. Address my food challenges, address my poverty issues, and all the others will be addressed. So let's support social protection and we shall benefit all of us. However, Napa was optimistic that the national insurance policy should not be shelved long because it will play a critical part of the social protection for vulnerable people. Social protection ensures social security and insurance for citizens to address risks and vulnerabilities and for citizens to live a dignified life. The program policy officer social protection in the World Food Program, Rita Namuiza, highlights that social protection systems is an ideal investment and vital for reducing vulnerability in the society. Now, we say that the Child Sensitive Social Protection Program, and, and I say that, I, I think I mentioned before, that we are focusing on strengthening systems. The reason why we work through existing government structures and with government partners is because we know that, that the government of Uganda, its core mandate is to provide services to the people. And so we are saying, can we support government to strengthen the systems that it needs to deliver social protection interventions. The government recognizes that social protection is a key prerequisite for achieving national development goals, but need to guarantee social security to vulnerable people, either by age, social class, disability, gender, and disaster, to promote equity.